experience on stage is what I call heaven on earth. I, I'm in this magical world of story and character. And I get the opportunity to see through the eyes of this character for whatever the length of the play is and, and just be there. In this, I almost feel like a parallel universe. I get to step into that reality and be there for a period of time. And it's almost as though a part of me disappears and I get to live that experience and I get to do it for as long as the show runs. When I digest the character and its emotions and feelings, it is me that's feeling it. So yes, on a personal level I do. And I think that this is a problem that a lot of people have in relationships, um, be a partnership or a marriage or whatever. Um, when you bring those feelings and emotions home with you, um, they have to know how to deal with you as the person and the character and your transition back into you. Does that make sense? I, it's, um, and it was challenging in my marriage, very challenging. Um, there was times when I would tell my husband, um, you know, it'd be best if you weren't home today when I get home. Um, I'd call him ahead of time because I knew what I was carrying with me, you know, if, especially if it was anger or if it was hurt. Um, and then if I was playing a role where I had a problem with men, you know, so it's like, it's best that you not be in the house when I get home. <laughs> you know? I love supporting others. And what I mean by that is you know, when you um, are able to see within the, another their greatness, your greatness comes out just as much. You know, so then you could take your work to a higher level, you know, because you're working with each other. It's like a tennis match. You know, if you're out there just trying to hit the ball out of there, there's no game. But if you really start to aspire, you know, and really enjoy the rally between each other, then you got something. It's a good rhythm and people enjoy watching it. So I actually enjoy being a supporting actor. I would say that with the thing that's got kept me going within this profession is number one, working with great artists, but then two, working with great directors. I've had four directors that um, I have seen their work first and then wanted to work with them um, because there's something about a director that knows how to see the entire vision, you know, and um, and see everything from beginning, middle to end and know how to make it all work and gel so that it's not about the actor you're going to see, but about the story and a, a, about the, um, yeah, about the story, about the performance. And you walk away from it feeling something instead of it just being watching someone up there perform. See, the thing is, I don't think, as an actor, I don't think I've gotten to my highest level yet. I feel like I'm still at the beginning stages. I still feel like I'm working at it. Even though I've been in the profession for 15 years, I feel like I'm still waiting for that big role and that big opportunity and I'm not there. I know it's on its way and I'm on my way, but I'm definitely not there yet. How will you know when you get there? I really believe the ghost of the theater is that spirit that you leave behind in character. And it's a really tough thing, ask anybody who knows me. After I close a show, I am the most depressed person <laughs> because I actually feel as though there's a part of me that dies because I got to live through that character and, and I experience a death of the character. And I literally mourn it. Sometimes I'll actually be in bed or I'll be in my pajamas the next day after a show closes um, and little tears, you know, um, weeping the loss of that spirit that inhabited me for a while. Mm -hmm.